come to Ashburnham National Park. Ashburnham sounds very English, but I haven't asked for And then a minute of being out of the truck. I climbed down some rocks to get closer to it. I suddenly realised there was about 10 snake skins around me. So I thought best not climb these rocks. Um, and there are just hundreds of snakes here. They are water snakes though, they seem to be in the water. And they're not poisonous. But the snakes in there are. So we'll keep out of the grass. It's sunset. I'm sitting here in a park all on my own and walked into, out into the uh, grasslands a bit. You can see a power line around here. I'm all the way along the island. Bit of a shame. And the sun's almost gone. I saw a fox run, but that was it. I obviously spooked him. A long time before I saw him, he got spooked. And that's all I've seen. It's almost too dark for me to get any decent photos. On the trail of some gazelle. They came round behind these bushes trying to sneak up, up on them to get some close-up photos. They spook really easy. It's very hot, it's about 40 degrees. And I'm having to be careful about snakes. Just getting home where I'm walking. Sitting in the grass here, not too far from Matilda, but far enough to make a difference. The uh, gazelle obviously used to keep a distance from Matilda. So I've come out a little bit, I'm sitting on a bush in some grass. And they have seen me, and there's one in particular that's quite curious. Although she's still too far away to get any decent pictures, she's slowly coming towards me. I'm just ignoring her right now. Hopefully, she'll get a bit closer. Because they're remarkably alert. They all know I'm here and they're looking at me. Even one of them, I mean, there's one so far in the distance, I can only see it with binoculars and it's looking dead at me. The curious one is actually taking a few steps back now. She's still looking.
I'm in this lovely swamp area and the cows are in the swamp having a munch and there's terrapins, lots of birds and guess what? There's plastic bottles everywhere. It's just it's really heartbreaking. It's like nobody cares about their environment. It's just I don't understand it. I've had a lovely time sitting by the swamp, being visited by the terrapins and tiny little frogs. 